Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about horseradish again, provide another video on this plant. And the horseradish plant is beginning to come up uh, now in, uh, what well, was starting to come up in early March. It's now mid-March and it's uh, uh, doing pretty well. I'd like to kind of document and show uh, how it's doing and just kind of talk about it with where it is right now and kind of what I'm doing with it and such things like that. So let's uh, get right down to it and uh, check this plant out. Here we are at the horseradish patch. Of course, here, there, this is some compost from last year that I put down. I'll probably put down a fresh uh, layer of that uh, soon. The horseradish plants are doing here. There are three of them. There are some others, actually, uh, but these are the three largest ones. Uh, this one over here, I might try to cover a little bit with some more soil, um, but uh, th these are the sprouts that are coming up. It's not necessarily quite time to harvest the, the roots yet. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that. Uh, later on, uh, maybe in April or May, we'll kind of see how these plants are doing. But these little leaves that are coming up in the spring are actually edible, and they're really, uh, they're really quite tasty. Actually, they're uh, not as strong, but if you put four or five of them in your mouth, uh, you can definitely um, get a pretty good, pretty good amount of heat in there. But they do taste pretty good. They're uh, sweet. They're not too tough. You could probably chop them up pretty fine and put them in a salad or add them to like a coleslaw dish if you want some a little bit of extra spice, a little bit of extra kick in there. Or just, you know, eat them as a trailside nibble. Get a nice little dose of vitamin C early on in the spring. So I did go through here and I kind of weeded out some of the grass earlier on in the spring. Of course, when the grass is shorter and it's younger, earlier, um, you know, in, in the early spring, uh, the root system is not as developed, so it's really a lot easier to pull it out this time of the year than it is later on in the summertime. So I'm really trying to take advantage of that and get a lot of this grass out now uh, before it gets really dense and thick and like a matted root system and uh, becomes, you know, a bear to try to get out of the soil. So now is a really good time to do that, and then I'll probably put down some compost at some point. Maybe I'll mulch it over too with maybe some grass clippings once, you know, once spring really kicks into a higher higher gear and the grass starts to grow and such. Uh, and I'll, I'll put that down to help regulate the moisture content in the soil and I really try to keep these plants happy and healthy and thriving. So here we are back a couple of weeks later looking at these horseradish plants. Let me just zoom in here a little bit. And uh, you can see that the leaves are actually, um, uh, you can kind of see that they're actually transitioning from, transitioning from, produce, from producing these kinds of leaves, and they're now shifting to producing these, um, which are the, I don't know, maybe I'll call them the, the true leaves that they'll retain for uh, the full, um, for the full uh, growing season. Both of these leaf types are edible of course, um, and they're really nice greens to add to a salad this time of the year. Uh, add a little bit of a spice, a little bit of a kick. I'm probably gonna go through this patch, weed out some of the grass again, uh, maybe later on, maybe around in May. Uh, I may uproot some of these uh, and uh, divide them, because they look like some, some of them are starting to crowd in a little bit. Uh, 
But yeah, otherwise these, these guys are doing really well. As the season continues to warm up, I'll add in some more compost. I'm gonna leave it at that for now. It's still pretty cool out, and I wanna let these guys do their thing. And I'll just continue to harvest some of these greens throughout the season and uh, go from there. All right, so thanks so much for checking out this video, and I hope to see you in a future video. Take care.